Okay, I kind of lied. I'm not fully on the Osmo Pocket today. We got it right here just to show you. I'm still on the Sony. We're, we're still recording that. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the process is going to be like today, what we're going to go through. Um, things that we're just going to look at with the Osmo Pocket and see how well it does with uh, the Zoom just to see um, if it's a viable daily vlogging option. I mean, this or that. As a matter of fact, Osmo Pocket G Master Lens. This can fit inside of this. This is smaller than this. This is larger than this. This is a lot easier to carry around than this and the camera body. Just saying. You see, it sounds, it sounds decent, right? Why is it up? What's going on here? This collar just not rigid enough. Do I gotta completely go change my shirt? Cause I will. Got a new shirt. Found a shirt. Did it work? I don't know if it worked. If that worked, I'm proud of myself. Cause I didn't even look up how to do it. I didn't. I just, I just figured. Hey, everybody else does it. Why not me? One, two, three, four. This is on this guy. If this is good, then this is good. I'm gonna let this charge for a little bit before I leave. Full disclosure, like I got a couple hours before I gotta be anywhere. So I'm gonna let it charge and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple things over there at my desk and then we can go, all right? So just, just be patient with me. So yeah, right now we're going through the hallway. I just have the device here. My phone is right here. I'm still recording on the external microphone. But the face tracking is doing pretty well. I mean, I'm not really having any kind of issues right now. The thing is, when it flips around, it gets a little funky. Like, it'll tilt down or tilt up a little bit. But I think there's some minor adjustments you can make. This light is really yellow. Oh, see, I can't turn to the light. So yeah, I, I find myself hitting this recenter button a lot. But it's an experiment, so let's keep going. Bad news is, it rained. My sunroof was cracked open. No me gusta. It's kind of gloomy out here today. Anyway, now we're on the way to my sister's school. She uh, asked me if I wanted to volunteer for a blood drive there, so I figured save lives. Why not? So we're gonna head out here. It's about a 20 minute drive. This thing seems pretty stable in my hand though, as I'm doing this driving and filming and stuff. I'm gonna interrupt the vlog here for a second if you get queasy or anything like that with needles and blood and all that. Um, yeah, it's gonna get that way in about five, four, three, two, All right, that part's over. Before all these kids see you vlogging, you never this is this is Grace. She's all embarrassed already. We haven't like we just got in the car. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. I got it. I got the camera. I got the camera. Forgot it in the car. We're at Costco. Oh <laughs> you don't like electronics? What about these? No? I feel like, I feel like Mr. Beast walking through a store recording. I just don't have Mr. Beast money, so we're only going to get the necessities like toilet paper and dryer sheets. Face tracking. You just what? You know you didn't. <laughs> she, she got a finger poke. Um, what kind of toilet paper should I get? Should I get the Charmin Ultra Soft? How soft is it though? I'm trying to poke it and see how soft it is. See, this is the thing. The, the whole video of today is to see if I can vlog on this thing. So. Oh, you can. We, we get stuff. We can. Oh. 
All right, she's getting upset with me, so I'm gonna stop vlogging until we go eat. What is that? For further explanation on Grace's burger, it's a gluten allergy, so no bread. How's the food? Back on the big camera. This thing uh, held up pretty well for the day. I don't know if I'd use it every day. Like, it's easier. I would say overall it's easier to handle that camera than it is this camera. This has some great perks. I think it's a good like, it's, it's a good secondary object to have in your bag. It's small, it's compact. If you wanna do a quick time lapse, if you wanna do some simple B-roll where you're like, oh, I don't wanna take my whole camera out, it's great. But I think something for like vlogging or something for just all day, every day, running gun shooting, your camera's gonna be the best option. I mean, there's a reason that this is made and it serves its purpose very well but it's, it's just not that. It's got great options. You can control your own exposure, color profiles, et cetera, et cetera. But when it comes down to just doing everything in one efficiently and user-friendly, the camera's just gonna be the way to go. Um, like I said, it's something that you can use as, a, as something to have in your bag, something to just uh, pull out when you want to do something quick, some quick B-roll, like I said, or like a quick time-lapse. Time-lapse is great. In panoramic pictures, it's cool because the little head will just turn and take the pictures and stuff, but I don't think it's a camera replacement. I just don't. Just to touch on the blood donation thing, one pint of blood, just one, can save three people. One pint, three people. One in seven people that go to the hospital need blood. So if you're able to, if, you're, if your body allows it, if, if you're healthy enough, just, just do it. Once in a while, it's not gonna kill you. Save people's lives.